how to load and unload kernel module in Linux with Ansible, I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about Ansible module mod probe. Yes, like the command line utility, so easy to remember. The full name is community.general.modprobe, which means that is part of a collection on module Community General maintained by the Ansible community. The purpose of a module is to load and unload kernel module, so exactly what we want. Parameters. The parameters of module more probe are very easy. Only three. The only required is name with the full Linux kernel module name. The parameter params allow you to specify some module parameters. Default is empty string. The parameter state specify the status of the Linux kernel module. The option present means that the module must be loaded. The option absent means that the module must be unloaded. So very easy. We can't specify the persistency, I know, but it's still something and might be useful this module. So, demo time. Let's jump in a real life Ansible playbook to load or unload Linux module, Linux, uh, Linux kernel module with Ansible. Yes! Let's have a fun! Welcome to my editor. I will show you one playbook to load a kernel module in Linux. So first of all, let's begin our YAML file with three dot, then uh, let me specify a name for a play, mod probe module demo, then what else, oh, uh, hosts all of my inventory, so will be executed on all hosts, and let me specify also become true, because uh, I need a root privilege to load the kernel module. Don't think so? Yes root as superpower. What else? Uh, uh, let me specify two variables. One is module name. In my case, let me use a dummy and also let me add some parameter module underscore params. And let me add num dummies uh, equal to. This is a special kernel dummy uh, pseudo terminal that is mean for this, for having fun. If you want to Deep dive, search for dummy kernel module on the man page. And then let me specify only one task that is named. Okay, here we go. Load the module. Here we go. That is going to target the module, the Ansible module community.general.modprobe three parameters, so we are going to use all. The first is the name, that obviously will be the value of my module underscore name variable. Then let me add the state to be present in my system. And the parameter will be params, yes, here we go, with the value of module underscore params. Here we go. As you can see, in a few lines of code, we are able to load a kernel module in all my Ansible inventory. So visit this few line of code and we are going to load a kernel module on all my Linux fleet. Uh, this is very, quite powerful, isn't it? But let's jump to console to see the real result. 
Welcome to my console. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine. So SSH, DevOps as username and demo.example.com. This is an example machine that I'm using in this demo. And what else? Oh, let me switch to root so I could finally do LS mod that give us all the list of loaded kernel module right now. And to be clear, let me pipe grab dummy so we can see that uh, this module is not loaded in this system right now. So uh, let me also print the kernel version with uname a. This is uh, a 4.18 and whatever. <laughs> so it's very long. This is exactly the kernel release that is running on this machine right here right now. So let me disconnect from this machine and execute my Ansible playbook to load the, pl the module. So Ansible-playbook dash e my inventory file in my case and the virtual machine and let me execute the mod probe playbook this is very fast execution basically ansible is connecting to the target machine and execute the mod probe we got a change of status which means that something happened on the target machine if I'm executing again the same playbook, you can see that I got an OK status, so which means no further action executed on the target machine. So this module is hidden potent. Yes, great to know. But I don't trust Ansible, so let me verify connecting via SSH, DevOps, at demo example.com, sudo su for root user, then again ls mod pipe grab dummy oh we have a model now right now loaded so seems that something happened let me verify on slash var log messages and as you can see on uh, the latest line there is the mode probe invoked with a name dummy and state present also the parameter that we specify num dummies equal to two let me quickly remind you that this file var log messages store everything that happened on the system so basically if something is going on we can see here uh, what else we can take a look uh, there are um, less things but these were the most important if you want to deep dive on uh, the dummy module, I will suggest to use mod info, command and dummy. And here you can have uh, the exact signature of the Linux kernel module and some information about it. So it might be useful to take a look. But great job Hansible, we have what we wanted. Now you know how to load and unload kernel module in Linux with Ansible. Thank you for watching and if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up, write me a message and in general keep in contact with me. So enjoy your day and see us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.